Hello viewers, in the world of cars, handling is something that Lotus are known for. And now Lotus have reached Indian shores and this is their first offering to us, the fully electric Elettre R. In this video, we walk you through everything that's interesting and cool about the new Lotus Elettre R. Everything on the Elettre R serves a function and despite that, the car looks stunning. Lots of sharp angles and lots of aero elements such as this one and all around the sides of the car. And if you look at these small pockets over here, they actually house the LiDAR elements that give this car its autonomous features. It runs on 23-inch beautiful alloy wheels and this particular car has the carbon fiber package as well. So you'll see a lot of carbon fiber elements around the car. The profile is simple and the focus on aerodynamics is so much that even this badge sits flush in the bodywork and not on it. Inside the Elettre R, the feeling is obvious. The first thing that anybody would feel is sportiness. Lotus have gone for that appeal and it works in spades because the console is perhaps the smallest I've ever seen in the car. There's just one strip that gives you the speed, range, battery status and everything. And in front of it is this very beautiful steering wheel, a flat bottom and exactly what a young boy would imagine a race car to be like. So very sporty at the driver's cockpit. We move on to this side and we have a massive screen dominating the dashboard. This screen has, as you can see, has zero buttons on it and it is used to control almost 95% of the car's functions. Everything from the LiDAR, the spoiler, to the infotainment and air conditioning. That being said, air conditioning is also available with buttons down here. And what can I say? Lots of leather, high quality plastic and Alcantara. This is an amazing place to be. In most sporty cars, the front row is very nice to be in, but they often neglect the rear. But that is not the case in the Elettre R because if these seats have ventilation and uh, massaging functions, so do we. And on top of that, to adjust all of it, I have this very useful touchscreen here, which can be used to send the front passenger seat forward and behind as needed. My only complaint in this space is that the floor is a little higher as compared to the front, which makes it a little difficult for thought people like me. But then both these seats are adjustable for recline and height. So you can find a comfortable position with a little bit of adjustment. If I told you that this car can go from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in less than 3 seconds, 2.95 to be precise, would you believe me? Maybe you don't, but it does. And it goes on to a top speed of 265 kilometers per hour, which is the fastest for a dual motor SUV in the world. Do you know of any other car that can beat this? Well, let us know in the comments. We look forward to it. In the meantime, power comes from two motors, one at the front and one at the rear, which gives a combined output of 905 horsepower. This is a sporty offering. It's one of its primary concerns is to go fast and be exciting. That being said, it is also an SUV, which means comfort is a priority too. To cope with the multiple demands of a sporty SUV like this one, Lotus have equipped this car with air suspension. So whichever mode you choose, tow, sport, track, range, or whatever it may be, the car adjusts itself to those parameters. And on top of that, it has one of the highest ground clearances as standard. But if you want to raise it, it can be raised to tackle a place like this. In terms of handling, Lotus are world-renowned for their stuff and despite this car's size and heft, it handles like a much smaller one. Just fun to drive would be the easiest way to put it. That being said, the brakes are not the sharpest in the segment, but they do an excellent job controlling speed and getting this car to a stop, full stop, when required. In terms of ride, Lotus have equipped this car with air suspension whose settings change depending on which mode you're in. Right now, I'm in Tour, which is the equivalent for comfort, and it does an incredible job of finding out most of the harshness in the road. But this car runs on massive 23-inch alloy wheels, which have among the thinnest profiles of rubber we've seen. So, there will be some harshness in the cabin, but only if you drive on very bad roads. On good roads, 
it's an extremely sporty and fulfilling experience to be in the cockpit. It is for somebody who wants something blindingly quick and also comfortable, both in the front row and the rear. But there are a few problems for our roads, such as the 23-inch wheels. It is not the best option to have, but not the car's fault. We don't have the infrastructure for it. But if you can look over that, then this is one of the fastest electric SUVs available in the country today. That brings us to the end of a very quick video about the Lotus Electra R. Have you not covered something? Do you want to know something more? Let us know in the comments and we will get back to you promptly. This is Joshua Vergis signing off for Car India.